Hello everybody, um, welcome. I thought I'd uh, try out the new camera and at the same time uh, tell a little bit more about the layout and why. Okay, um, back in December of 2010, which is only about a year ago, I suddenly realised I fancied getting back into the model railway thing again. Um, I hadn't done so for over 40 years, but at um, that point in time I had nothing. What you can see here and um, on my other videos is what I've collected in that short space of time less than a year just under a year um, and I've got loads more which is all packed away ready for when I move it all up into the attic in the new year of 2012 so this being a temporary layout there's no point whatsoever in doing ballast and grass and apart from the scenery I've put out just to make it look reasonable and the rest of it will get done properly when it's all up there in the attic so uh, We'll see how it all goes. Okay, back again. Um, right, let's uh, take a closer look at some of the items. First of all, I forget the model number off hand, but it's the uh, German Bavarian, I believe. It's a Nort 88 Nort Articulator. Lovely loco. This is River Rossi. Beautiful loco. Love it. Love the style of loco. Uh, moving around, we've got uh, Ex Caledonian. Up on the ramp, we've got uh, Flying Scotsman, most famous train in the world, of course. And Britannia up at the back there. Down here in the fuel shed, we've got a, a blue Hymac with the A1A. And down a bit lower, we've got uh, some working items like Plasa Tampera. Little, lovely little shunter. Over here we've got Lord of the Isles, great loco as well, could do with the dust I think. Uh, moving round, let's go across to the back, we've got a scrapyard set sort of thing at the back, that's a class 37 in the, in the engineer's hut, and uh, more scrap locos, not that one of course, they're on, on loads, so I call this bit the uh, train graveyard, number one. Oh yeah, and of course uh, I, I just had to have a turbo car. Uh, I've got a new sticker for the side and I'm going to replace the rubber nose cone which is damaged. Um, not too much of a problem doing that I'm sure. Bit of a novelty but nice to have. And another dead loco. And pulling back we've got the turntable which I think you've got to have a turntable. And over to the right we've got to Evening Star. Again, a lovely loco and the uh, SNCF262 tank, twin hump one, as you can see. I mean, I put a few hows and the cars out just to sh you know show what it make it look a little bit better anyway. Coming around here, we've got uh, got the hand cart, the Gandhi dancer. I love that. It just seems to suit the part. And then on the same side, in I've got Stevenson's rocket. Which is uh, again a bit dusty. Been there, been there for about three months. In great condition as well. So Stevenson's rocket. All right, back again. Um, thought I'd go across the sidings. Let's show you all what's in the sidings. Um, the idea was just to get as much out as I could for now until, like I say, it all gets moved up into the uh, attic at a later date. Okay, there's a GG1. Uh, and I love the American locos, so uh, I've got quite a few of Union Pacific, that sort of thing. And down here, up to First Great Western, and then my favourite loco of all, yeah, a big boy. Absolutely stunning. Lovely loco. Love it to bits. Um, we've got the Triang Bud, a rake of four. Um, the Triang Hiawatha. Or it wasn't called that at the time, but it uh, got changed, the name got changed. And then there's Sir Frost Quinn, I believe. Try saying that when you've had a few. And some more American stuff. Uh, over there we've got uh, this little shunter. And we've got the Heisler, which is a very interesting loco. It's a transverse axles and it's a V piston driven. So very interesting. Another little Pennsylvania loco. Then we've got the uh, oops, New York Hudson, streamlined version. 
back to the big boy uh, right, another uh, little American loco we've got the Hymec there's two Hymecs here actually because um, one of them's got the original Triang worm drive motor in uh, which I believe is that one yes and uh, that is the later Hornby one with the Ringfield motor and track cleaning car and we got the other track cleaning car and the ridings car and another Great Western loco in the Pacific okay here we are back again got the, uh, the three four four O's running here and um, obviously Lord of the Isles and the two Caledonians ex Caledonians yeah, yeah cool stuff Running a little fast, I think, that maybe. Yeah. I'm no expert with the video camera, it's all new to me this is, so uh, I'm still learning. I've got to get used to the zoom as well. I think I'm a bit quick with it. Anyway, there we go. More later. Bye.